96 cars line up at Glasgow, ready for the Lord Provost to send them away on the first stage of their 2,000-mile journey to Monte Carlo. The Lord Provost drops the flag, and the first car, a Zephyr, begins the marathon drive. James Risk and Donald Morley are its co-drivers. Now in Austin, with W.C. Johnson and W.T. Henn sharing the burden. Next, a Daimler Conquest, with Hugh Galt and Charles Collins co-driving, moves off. Dover is the first target for the drivers, 600 miles away. Ice has made the road south treacherous, but competitors have to be in Dover early in the morning or miss the ferry to France, so there can't be any slackening of pace. Already, this promises to be one of the trickiest rallies for years. Mrs. Joe Ashfield and Mrs. Clark take their Zephyr through Kilmarnock, but once they're into the country, the going gets rougher, and there's worse ahead. There'll be more snow during the night. Meanwhile, hurried attempts are being made to clear the roads. The snow begins again, swirling down to dazzle drivers, sometimes to force them to a halt. Yes, it's going to be tough, all right. Our cameraman's car is brought to a standstill by the drifts. He's lucky. A Vauxhall driven by Arthur Lineker and George Neville is out for the count. Night falls, bringing with it a fierce flurry of snow. But the pace mustn't slacken. Dover's still a long way off. Many of the rally cars have had some anxious moments, as their dented mudguards will tell. About two or three have had to give up already. First to reach Dover is the Zephyr, driven by Mr. Cuthbert Harrison and his 23-year-old son, Edward. Now come the formalities of checking in before they go aboard the ferry. Passports have to be checked and forms signed. Two more competitors, Anne and Chris Neal, are here on time. A minor collision on the way down doesn't daunt the two sisters who aim to pull off the Coupe des Dames. The ferry boat Lord Warden slowly begins to fill up as the time for departure nears. Those who are late have either to abandon the trip or try and fly their cars across. 87 of the 96 starters manage it on time. Now it's next stop Boulogne and then on to Monte Carlo. <laughs> 